You know, a lot of patients do have this misconception that, you know, when they go on oxygen, they're going to be homebound. And um, the things that qualify patients for oxygen are um, your oxygen level, your saturation, your oxygen level in your blood must be 88% or below. When it, bego when it becomes lower than that, you really start bringing in other parts of your body to help take care of that deficiency. So your heart becomes affected, your brain becomes affected, affected your, your kidneys, everything's trying to compensate um, to, to keep you alive with that low of an oxygen saturation. So that's when we intervene, put patients on oxygen, and there are many studies that show when you go on oxygen as prescribed that you live longer and you do more. So it's the education part of it that's so important that you make sure everyone knows about the oxygen, your caregivers know about it, you know about it, and um, yeah, it is something that you'll have to carry around with you, but you know you'll, you'll be stronger and can, and, and can do more with it, for sure. I think the one thing I'd like to talk about is um, working with your healthcare team to make sure you're on the right type of oxygen. Um, patients with pulmonary fibrosis oftentimes will ask for a portable oxygen concentrator versus a continuous flow. So there's a big difference in those two types of modalities and um, I think, you know, with pulmonary fibrosis is a progressive disease. So to make sure long term that your needs will be met too.